Hello Cancer, okay so what we're going to do is look at what is going on for you, okay, and um, how to approach the next two weeks, okay, we are using the Osho Zen Tarot for class um, classification, clarification, getting all my words jumbled, and Sacred Light Oracle as the base. Um, I do feel a little bit jumbled cancer and I wonder if that is how you are feeling at the moment um yeah so let's just give these a quick shuffle and then we will pick those from the top and I'll just chuck these over here so I'm Juanita and the first card we have out here is scales of karma interesting cycle of disharmony creating new traditions unfortunate events Ah, so maybe this is what you're feeling at the moment, Cancer. Maybe you're feeling like there's something around you that is happening because I'm seeing the lightning and everything up here um, in the distance. It could very well be that some of you are just trying to go within and almost pretend like that's not happening, maybe. Um, yeah, but as you learn to grow... Right, as you, well, as you learn and grow, because I just seen this little boy here and this growing man here. At first, it's like this is the teacher and this is the student, but I actually feel like this is a progression. This is, you know, growing over the years into, okay, so at that point, the little boy couldn't read. And then he grows into this person who then can study the books type of thing, but still able to go within. So this is a practice of connecting within um, and, and kind of um, holding that peace in your heart, in a sense. Yeah, that purity, holding that purity in your heart. Ooh, wow, morality. Morality. Interesting. Actually, you know, Cancer, I feel like there's things going on around you that are not um, necessarily... I feel like some of you could be in quite a toxic environment, um, whether that's to do with work, home or relationships. Um, I feel like um, there's this need to learn to adapt to change. Okay, there's this real need to be adaptable, not getting sucked into the the power play, I want to say. This mask reminds me of someone in a play and the sneakiness over here, this morality. It may feel um, like your hands are tied a bit. Um, and it could also be that it's very hard to see clearly as to what was going on. Um, but that could really be because of your mind could be going 10 to the dozen and you're not really clear on what is going on. Things are a bit, yeah, because even in this card, there's lightning, but it's, it's not clear. Okay, so I feel like something is clouding potentially your judgment mm, interesting golden light ray love and laughter receiving and giving gifts passionate projects so this is a great way to increase your vibration cancer okay because look at that energy there you know um and and, and bringing people together that you trust and who uh, you know lift you, you up. And, um, you know, also giving and receiving. Like, this is a great balance to have, right? Because I feel like there's this, with the scales of karma, it feels like something's being brought into balance. Okay. Um, and this could be why things seem very, um, it, it just don't seem clear at the moment but yeah um so i feel like right now what you need to do is know that yes things aren't clear and things are very very um shaky i want to say um 
but there are other things that you can do in order to lift your vibration because this is the key here to make sure you maintain a high vibration throughout this period okay so this is one way of doing it because it does seem like this is all happening to bring about a new beginning um, or at least start to bring new changes in which are for the better okay uh, it's just super uncomfortable really uncomfortable actually Ooh. wow <laughs> yes look at this i love this we are the world bringing everyone together okay um and also connecting with that universal life force, okay, and understanding that you are that. You know, this is also, being the number 10, this is an ending again, okay. Um, not, it, it, it's kind of like this cycle is done um, and always that can bring about disharmony for sure. It really can. So bringing people around you or actually cancer, it could very well be that this cycle ending is going to bring in those who are for you. Okay, so it's a matter of making sure that you're trying to get into this mind frame of being excited about that. Okay, wow, they're really flying today. Okay, I like I put I put these here on the edge of the table so they can just slide in. But these are like, whew, off, off we go. <laughs> Maybe some of you are flying somewhere. I don't know. Um, or you wish you could. So, yeah, the dream. Look at this. This is what you envisioned for your, you, um, your life. This happy, beautiful, you know, dream that you wanted. Obviously, this is to do with a relationship, but it could be to do with work. But it's been in a loving environment. Okay, um, and, and this is, here is you, and just kind of wondering how exactly you can get to that, not really sure how it is that you're going to make that happen. Okay, so it is, this is the first step of lifting your vibration, and you know, um, like also looking at things that you're really passionate about, that you love doing, okay, and um, doing those things, you know, it could be um, sewing, it could be dancing, it could be singing, it could be um, crafts, it could be gardening, it could be running, it could be anything like that. So, you know, in that regard, really um, making sure that you're doing everything you can um, so that you can get to this dream um, once the dust settles sort of thing, yeah? Um Energy attachments, interesting. Energy exchange, negative influences, and self-sabotage. So with this card, I feel like it could be a possibility, Cancer, that there are maybe people around you who are impacting your vibration, okay? Um, and whether you're aware of that or not, it is actually happening, okay? Um, and... I really feel like this, it could be that people are putting their opinions on you, um, you know, yeah, I think, I think what would be a good idea, Cancer, you know, and um, look, this is just advice, you don't have to take it if you don't want to, but always take responsibility for your own life, okay, and your own choices, because it's not for me to tell you what to do. Um, but just look at the ties that you have that may be influencing you in a negative way. Um, you know, the ones that are like, no, you should do this and this is what you should do and this is what you shouldn't do and all that kind of thing. You know, um, yeah, I kind of feel like people who give you options or say, well, here's a su suggestion um, or, uh, you know... Uh, it's really hard to to put you know, I think you know what I mean right yeah right the master it's it's really sorry what's this other card oh I love this tuning in tuning in tuning in so okay just back to this card for a tick because I have, I'm not done with this 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 is like these hands up here like you've got your hands up here like 
oh, you know, I'm, I'm not holding on to anything. That's not me. Yeah. Um, and it could be that it's kind of like, you know, so I can't be holding on to anything. But the thing is that things are still becoming attached to you. So what I feel like is really important for you to do is to tune all these voices out and even your own mind chatter right is to go within and just calm these waters here okay um i can't even remember your last readings because your last reading and because i just don't remember the readings um <clears throat> but really tapping into this master within because this is truly who you are and i feel as though it could be the case that people around you do see that and they are threatened by that mm. yeah which is why there's this kind of thing and, you know, they don't want you to see things. Then you, you keep your hands tied and keep you behind that gate type of thing, right? Um, when, you know, it's really for their own gain that that is happening. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so Archangel Michael, I love this. Um, heart of a warrior, divine protection and synchronicity. So really looking out for those synchronicities because they will start to come as you clear these attachments and this energy and raise your vibration. Okay, and asking him for assistance and protection because that is what he's there for. When you're turning in, really um, calling on Archangel Michael to come and protect you and assist you with that. Okay, um... Yeah, I, I I also feel like this is important for you to be using your internal guidance here because, you know, we have the eagle here and the eagle, you know, it soars around, it looks for, and I'm not saying this in the sense you're going to attack anyone, it's just an example, okay, but the eagle soars around and looks for its prey. And then it silently glides, you know, and it may even go and sit somewhere and watch its prey. Okay, to us, we might see this happening and think that there's a gazillion opportunities for the eagle to go in for the kill, right? But the eagle listens to its internal guidance system and it listens to its intuition, which is completely impeccably in tune okay and it waits precisely for the right moment and i feel like this is a little bit of something that you could take on board okay in the sense of tuning in and trusting your own internal guidance system i feel like some of you are quite clear on particular things um but there just seems to be these attachments that are coming in and clouding maybe your judgment um Mm, yeah, we have inner voice here on the top of uh, many cards, so I'm just going to put this back, but here we have conditioning, okay, and this is kind of, I. this is so absolutely on point to what I was saying, there's a group of people who are trying to condition you to be a sheep like them, but you, Cancer, are actually a lion, Okay, um, and it is realizing, you know, realizing, see, that, that, that this lion is who you are inside, and this is who you are inside this master. You are not beneath anybody at all, and it may very well be that you feel like you're learning, you're still learning, which we always are, but at the same time, you are also the master. You are, you know, I think it's really becoming aware of the fact of the source inside of you and tapping into that and understanding that you are the master. Okay, um, celebration. Again, this is great. You know, this is really um, <clears throat> celebrating your authenticity. Bringing people who see that in you around and who are going to celebrate that with you not the people who are trying to condition you into being the sheep to follow along and do what you're told like a good little sheep you know and don't um don't step out of the of the don't step out of line you know 
what oh soul family yes happy reunion support order from chaos yes bringing you know doing this will attract your soul family because what's going to happen you're going to tap into the heart of who you are this master yeah you're going to tap into that and you're going to attract these soul family here and you're going to stand in this knowingness with conviction right um and and so you know this is something to really really start putting into practice over the coming weeks because this is going to also help to shake these and energy attachments that are being put upon you whether they're being done consciously or not it doesn't matter okay um yeah, so I really feel like it's important for you to call on, um, you know, get people around you who you enjoy being with um, and and have a laugh, right, and share stories. But also, look at stories where that it may not have been that great. Share those stories and talk about the lessons that you've learned. This could be even getting together with family because this this could actually be a generational thing for some of you cancers. It could be that looking at the patterns throughout the generations and what has been repeated um, without actually realising that these attachments are still there and um, especially if there's been circumstances that keep arising that you can't seem to come away from and then the next cycle it's the same thing. Um, so looking at these generational patterns and maybe talking about things that went on in the generations before you, um, up to seven generations ago, and seeing if there's not a repeating pattern there. Okay, that's just for some of you, but I really feel like this is getting to the heart of the matter. Okay, and really coming into the heart and letting the heart vibrate out, that is what is going to attract your soul tribe. Okay, um, not a soul tribe that people say is yours, it is yours, yours and yours alone. Okay, um, so yeah, what have we got? Yeah, completion. This is the completion of the cycle. And um, and this is the one piece, you know, that very well doing this over the next two weeks, this could very well help to complete this cycle to bring in a whole a new one. Right, and let's see if there's anything else for soul family. Whoops. Cancer, trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in your ability. Okay. Um, you're going to have times where you feel, you know, like you're standing on the edge and you're really nervous and like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Like, oh, gosh. But just trust yourself, okay, because you do have it in you. You have this master in you, okay. Call on Archangel Michael in those times, yeah. Golden light ray, yeah. Have a laugh really get you know because there is this these scales of karma that is being balanced so you need to trust that whatever is happening is happening in order for this new cycle to come about okay and it is for the best okay so temple of mary emotional expression playful innocence and exploitation so some of you are feeling very vulnerable like right now i feel like um really connecting into this heart um, and the consciousness bringing the two together okay I feel like it's going to help you because I feel like this lady is standing here and she actually doesn't realize the beauty behind her and she's standing there feeling vulnerable I feel like there might be some wounds that still need to be healed here um, and connecting in okay turning in is a great way to do that so yeah, this is something that definitely, you know, her eyes to me it looks so haunted and so sad. Um, really different from this one where this power of conviction is there. Okay, so I feel like, you know, any healing that needs to be done, that is going to allow you to open up to bringing new people into your life. Okay, and it could be that for some of you, you may have let new people in, but because the healing wasn't completely done, these people, you know, they were like this, right? They were snakes behind the mask. 
and you may be not really trusting your judgment, okay, but just know um, to call on that master within, raise your vibration, because your vibration is what speaks, okay, and that is what attracts in, so if you're thinking positively, but your vibration is still low, you're still going to attract the low vibe, okay, um, so existence, yep, you are part of the universe and the universe is part of you. There is no separation. It only appears that there's separation because the difference is visual. But, um, you know, our bodies are like a temple of its own little universe. Exactly the same as what happens in the entire universe, okay? So this is understanding your existence and the truth of what that actually is, that you do have that source within you, okay? And... Even this temple of Mary, you know, your existence, your body is a temple, right? And so start seeing the beauty in that. Um, I feel like some of you are feeling quite shut out. Again, you see, this is exactly the same thing here. Um, not, you know, this, this little one here, this could be inner child that needs healing as well. So just be mindful of that for some of you if you need to do any inner healing work. On your inner child um, that that will be something that will help for you to um, execute this uh, to clear the way for this new cycle okay but yeah this child standing here the gate is not just closed but it's also locked right see that lock on that chain and that lock there but still looking through the gate like Oh, is anyone there like there's no one there everyone's gone you know and what needs to happen is he needs to turn around and go the other way and it's the same with her like she's not seeing what's behind her to see the beauty there okay and the beauty is this existence is this you know really going within and seeing this inner beauty inside of you and owning that because that is authentically who you are cancer Okay, so self-preservation, sorry, well-being, self-preservation, service to spirit, youthful experience. Um, yeah, I feel like, let me show you, sorry, hogging the card to myself. I feel like you need to take this time to pamper yourself, okay, um, because you have a mission, right, you have a service um, to spirit, okay, and spirit is you, you are spirit, okay, spirit is source, and that resides within you, okay, um, it could be that there might be some young ones that need some guidance, okay, so yeah, try and share your experience to help them, okay, and that might even be in the family here, okay, so just draw on what you have experienced, and remember what it was like to be young, and you know, if you're not, you know, if you're further away from that age group now, okay, um, so yeah, just really take that time to do things that you love to do, whether it's, it reminds me of like having a bath of rose petals, you know, um, with rose petals floating on it, um, or, you know, it could be putting on your favourite music and just dancing around or, you know, whatever. Just take that time for you. Okay, ripeness. Interesting. Ripeness. What's this card saying? Tell me more. You have the knowledge. You have everything you need in order to go through this, I feel like some of you don't believe you even know, or, you know, you just don't have faith in yourself, okay, and you actually, it's time to harvest the fruit, okay, before it gets old and starts rotting, um, because in this particular cycle, you feel like you still need to um, gather so much, um, but it's actually time to stop that cycle and move to another one. Um, you, This is self-doubt. To me, this is crying out self-doubt. You might just have one more little step to go, okay, but you're closer than what you think. That's what it is. You're closer than what you think. It feels like it's far away, but you're actually almost there, 
okay cancer so um just have faith and trust that you will get through this okay um and and bringing it all together is kind of like wrapping up the final details okay tying up the loose ends and um bringing that all together okay remaining in this heart to get you through this because this could be the kind of messiest um time potentially you know or at least it feels that way to you oh galactic vibration wow cancer this is like wow this is pretty powerful okay because there's this higher purpose or um calling for you to help heal um and and i feel like you maybe some of you can feel that inside of you okay so use this galactic vibration to hook into the consciousness to operate at a different um scale to operate on a different scale okay to really 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 bring this master through here okay because see this this light here coming through into the heart and what it reminds me of too is this card that we started out with scale of karma scales of karma you see how the light i said before that the lightning you can't really see it it's a bit cloudy did i say that I thought it if I didn't say it anyhow. Um, and even this um this grid here is not all joining up and it's it's kind of yeah, it hasn't been completed, whereas this one has and it's clear now. Okay, it's clear for this vibration to come through, for this vibration to be emitted out. Okay, so this is I really love this. This is say personal conviction raising your resilience and direct channel yes this is beautiful and i really feel like this is going to help you on a massive massive scale you know a way that you could do this cancer is to go outside at night and look at the stars and just soak it up right really become one with the universe become one with that existence okay because that is truly who you are and connecting your heart you know, dropping down into your heart and letting the conscien consciousness come through, the galactic vibration come through into this heart space. Okay, wow, man, this is pretty cool. I really love the power of that card here. That is awesome, beautiful card. What else have we got for galactic vibration for cancer? Anything else? Breakthrough, wow. This is going to help you to break through these murky waters, these times that aren't so clear to you. What else? Okay. Let these drop out upside down for this moment. Taking the time to really reflect. Okay, reflect. Um, as to, I feel like, because this is, what goes on, ins on inside your head this is what you want your life to be yeah um where's that card it's a bit like this card right this is what you dream of yeah and it's, so it's it's actually being able to vibrate it so that your outer world what you're actually vibrating out is like this so it is drawn to you okay and this galactic vibration is going to help you do that this golden light ray will also help you do that. Where are we? Where's old uh, Archangel Michael will help you? Your soul family, okay? Um, taking care of yourself and your well-being, right? Everything, releasing these energy att attachments are all going to help you do that. Okay, cancer last card, power of presence. Yes, a power struggle. Mm. Unlock your potential authenticity. Yes, 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 right? could be a power struggle going on around you as you step into this especially there could be people who are trying to bring you down look here's the eagle here's the eagle again right at the end here remember to maintain that um that authenticity authenticity i can't even say it but you know what i'm trying to say right authenticity um maintain that i'm too excited um and and really stand in your power okay stand tall and speak from your heart 
Yeah, um, actions speak louder than words as well. Don't forget that. And I also want to say that vibration speaks even louder. So as you raise that, you won't even need to speak your vibration. Will just any any bad things coming along with ping off your vibration ping. They won't even come near you because they don't match your vibration, right? Um, so, yeah, ha have, have a presence as the observer, I want to say. Um, you know, be present, you know. But just know that some people who appear present um, sometimes are manipulative. And there's actually ego behind it. It's this, this again. You know, so just be aware of that. But if yours, you're being authentic and, and standing in your power from your heart, you, you'll be fine, okay? Because you'll know, your, your inner guidance system will tell you. And we have inner voice as well. So listening and trusting that inner voice, okay? Um, knowing that it has got your back, okay? One more card for power of presence for cancer, please. One more, if we need it. I'll do one more shuffle. Power of Presence for Cancer. This is so cool, Cancer. I'm super excited for you. Here we go. Sharing. Sharing. You know, this is harvesting, right? Harvesting. Where's that card? That ripeness. Anyway, I don't even know. I've lost it now because I got all too excited and I've messed all the cards up. But, you know, this is the sharing, like those fruits of your labor to be able to, you'll be able to share this with these younger ones, right, who are coming up through the lines. You'll be able to share what it is that you've you've learned because, you know, you have actually put it into practice to learn how to harvest this beautiful garden, these, this, you know, healthy fruits. And, um, and you'll be able to pass that on. Okay, um, once you put it into practice and understand how it works, you will absolutely be able to um, radiate this vibration, this incredible vibration out from you. Okay, Cancer, so yeah, pretty exciting. And um, just come back if you need, you know, a, a refresher to remind you and keep you in that work over the next two weeks. Just come back and have another look and, and, and keep that momentum going. Okay, Cancer, take care of your beautiful selves and rise high with vibration. <laughs> okay, see you. Bye-bye.